The recent extremist attacks on Paris, arguably against the youth in France, make positive school culture and community building more important than ever. Research shows that when students feel welcome, involved, and safe, they learn more easily. Ajax High is no stranger to positive school culture and community building. This year, they've hosted Unlearn, completed an anti-Islamophobia project, and hosted Franco-Ontarian Day to spread acceptance and build community. When I come to school and I know that I can focus on my studies and my grades, I don't have to worry about people making fun of me or bullying or stuff like that. I can really accomplish all my goals. The most recent event, Unlearn, was an assembly to educate students about negative cultural stereotypes. Sir Nish, uh, before you step off the stage, just one moment. Uh, mm -hmm. This is my first time meeting him today. Kindred spirits are what? We could have had the same shirt, same hairstyle. Let's give him a round of applause for making today happen. An effort that teachers hope will promote positive school culture for students of Middle Eastern backgrounds. A new teacher at Ajax High, Emmanuel Nish, organized the event after he realized that making the school a more positive learning space would benefit all students. When students feel good about the culture of their school, they achieve their fullest potential. Nish says that achieving their fullest potential also means having a sense of identity. Positive school culture is that the kids have this sense of identity. So whether they are black, they are white, they are Muslim, uh, they are LGBTQ or straight, they all have this sense of, I am Ajax High. They support each other. Um, so by doing different events at the school that happen to treat of different topics, my, my belief is it brings them together. Like two kids who may, would, who may have never spoken to each other before may realize that they actually have something in common, and that's how you build that school culture, the positive school culture. Come to our school. Please give a round of applause. To help foster positive school culture, Niche organizes events to bring people together. One of those events is Unlearn. The founders of Unlearn, brothers Abi and Arvinder Ahualia, visit schools and communities in order to smash cultural stereotypes. So we're here to you know, help uh, Emmanuel with his initiative in, in terms of getting people to think outside the box. Arvinder and Abi use thought-provoking imagery and discussion to unseat prejudice and discrimination. The brothers started Unlearn in the early 90s and volunteered for organizations that promote anti-racism and anti-discrimination. Abby says it's easy to make assumptions, but everyone is human and deserves a positive school culture. It's so easy for us to make automatic assumptions and to, to see, observe what a group of people are doing and make the assumption that just because some individuals from that particular faith group or background are doing something, that all of them do the same thing. Uh, those stereotypes uh, are very dangerous. So I think this, this, this idea of thinking critically about that is extremely important, especially now. With the recent attacks in Paris and the more local attacks on a Peterborough mosque and a Muslim mother in Flemington Park, Abby's views on stereotypes are highly relevant. Ryan Gallagher is a law teacher at Ajax High. He has been discussing the legal situation regarding these events with his students at great length. From, from my perspective, what I'm seeing is, is a very positive response to, uh, you know, to, what, to what's happened in the sense that um, instead of allowing acts of terrorism or the, um, y you know, the negative tones to separate or divide uh, uh, people, um, what I'm seeing from our student population is they're, they're more coming together and rallying behind um, and those, those groups that are feeling um, like they're, they're on the fringes. That's because Ajax High School teaches their students to unlearn. For students like Zira Eligato, who feel like when they come to Ajax High, they can thrive. When you have those interactions where you are cooperating with individuals and you're, you're building those connections, it really allows you to strive for um, better academic success. You just keep yourself involved in, the, in, um, in culture, in the school. It helps you in other areas in grades, friendships, relationships, and overall become a more happy person. The culture in this school has helped me be more open. We have a multicultural assembly for which uh, me and a friend performed, so that made uh, experience a lot more fun here. Creating a culture of achievement requires a welcoming and inclusive school environment. Ajax High School strives to make sure that the conditions for learning are always present so that students can achieve their goals. Andrea Pemberton has been the principal at Ajax High School for two years. Pemberton thinks that positive school culture and community building contribute to academic success. As administrators, teachers in the building, um, our main 
goal is to help students be successful. Um, and I think that uh, we do everything that we can, but the biggest thing that we can do is promote a positive school culture. And to do that, we need community support. Um, so we reach out to, to everybody and anybody we can um, to be able to make sure that the experience that our students have here is, is the best experience they can have. Pemberton's perspective and the school's approach to positive school culture is evident through Ajax High. The teachers feel it, the principal feels it, but most importantly the students feel that they can come to school and thrive in a positive learning environment, proving that in the face of overwhelming global events, it is not only important but possible to maintain and foster goodwill and positivity. Reporting for The Chronicle, I'm Justin Stewart.